Now your candidates will probably be coming from a variety of places. They might be from LinkedIn, they might be emailing you, they might be from job boards directly. Um, in this video, I'm just gonna show you how you would normally add on a standard candidate to Bullhorn, but there are other integrations that you can do to add them through that way as well. But this is a really good basis to get you started. So when adding a candidate, there are two ways in which this can be done. First of all, the quickest way is parsing a resume. So at the bottom of the page, uh, this is called the bowling alley, click through. So here is the file of the CV. We're going to upload that. And Bullhorn is going to extract the information that is in the CV and fill out the information. So as you can see, Bullhorn's populated the email, the phone number and the address with the correct information. Now, some of the information isn't there, for example, salary and the skills and the, the date available because Bullhorn just doesn't know that information. So once we're, when we're parsing a CV, I recommend you come through and complete, uh, complete the missing information. Now, as usual, things in red or with a tick are mandatory, the other things aren't, but I do recommend you fill out as much information as you can. You may not know it all straight away, but it's really useful to get as much information as you can. So let's take a look. I'm just going to put wizard, and he's currently at. So we saw a really, really good idea to track the source of your candidates. We want to know where they've come from. Because if you are advertising, um, spending a fortune on somewhere like job site, and you're not making any placements from it, it might not be the best investment for your business. So I highly recommend tracking all sources. Now, you may not know the candidate's salary information as yet. And if you don't, feel free to put um, to leave this blank and go back and complete this at another date, at another at a later date. But what's really important is we do fill out as much as we can, especially when it comes to categories and skills. So um, when we're adding jobs on, we also add this same information in. And by adding this also uh, against the candidate, it does mean that bullhorn will help match candidates to relevant jobs and you can often fill out as much information here as as you need to um also you might see some information like this e.g general comments about the candidates if they're authorized to work in the uk the date they are available and actually using this field and then using automation to update this and asking candidates when they're available is wonderful as well some things like employee payment type you may have in there, and that may be because of your invoicing system, and there may be more information that you need to complete about candidates for PAYE or payroll, but once again, you may not know that straight away. But we've completed all the information, and we're going to press save. Once that's been saved, you can come through and, of course, view all of that information here, and you can edit that at any time time um, as well. So if you suddenly know the candidate's salary or information, you can complete that. And obviously here you can add notes against their profile and anything else. Now, what you'll also see is we've got their CV saved here. So you might want to come through and save that as a CV. If you're then going to come through and format the CV, you could change that into a formatted CV as well. And you can also see that the CV is live here within Bullhorn. If you don't want to pass the CV, you can come through and add that in. Um, you will then need to add all of the information here and then upload the CV separately under the file. So you can do that, but parsing the resume is almost the most efficient way and uh, to get the candidate's details on to Bullhorn. Um, once you've added everything in, you can obviously view everything by looking at all of your candidates, by coming to menu candidates, uh, and you can once again um, up and uh, edit the columns to make sure everything is applicable, applicable to you. If you see anything within this that's just not relevant, for example, you don't need to know their title or their employment preference because everything you do is permanent and title isn't something that you um, look to use, then you can go into the field mappings and get this changed.
Now when it comes up to searching for these candidates on the system, the data that we put in is important and the, the searching is only going to be as good as what you're putting in at this point in the process. So make sure you're adding on your candidates as thoroughly as you can to make the all important candidate searching process as simple and as clean and most importantly as accurate as possible.